A former Loudoun County priest is now awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty to sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy more than 35 years ago. The victim in this case is former D.C. Council member David Grosso, who chose to publicly identify himself after charges were filed against the former clergyman. News Force Mauricio Casillas spoke to Grosso about his decades-long search for justice. Scott Asseloni pleaded guilty on Monday to sexually assaulting David Grosso when he was a minor. Grosso says it was an important step in his journey to heal. It felt very good to finally, after all these years, have some closure. Scott Asseloni used to be a priest here at St. Francis de Sales in Percival. Back in 1985, Grosso says he and Asseloni were close. At 14 years old, Grosso felt that Asseloni was someone he could trust. But that turned out to not be the case. You just can't trust everybody. And I think you have to be very careful in life. And I think that, you know, even though somebody might be making you feel good, might be making you, you know, think that you're some kind of leader in the group or whatever, um, they might have ulterior motives. Asseloni was charged with a count of felony carnal knowledge of a minor in March 2020. Grosso says he wrote a letter in 1992 to Asseloni years after the assaults took place. And Asseloni responded to him, admitting to what he did. Grosso says that letter was used as evidence. Monday, jury selection was set to begin, but Asseloni entered an Alford plea, which means he did not formally admit guilt, but acknowledged prosecutors had enough evidence to successfully convict him. I was actually prepared to be the very first witness called. Asseloni was removed from public duties in 1993 and dismissed as a friar in 2007. Grosso says he kept tabs on what Asseloni was doing for years. There were a couple of times where I had to reach out to youth groups or to community groups then say, you shouldn't be working with this guy, he's dangerous. Grosso says this is something he'll always live with, but he encourages others to speak out about abuse. The best thing you can do is talk about it. You need to get in front of somebody that you trust, somebody that can help you think it through, and then report it. Asseloni will be sentenced in April. He faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. In Percival, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Now, News 4's attempts to contact Asseloni's attorney were unsuccessful.